Hello, my dear students. Uh, you are welcome in our course. Today we will discuss unit number three in the Red Bus Interchange One for the level four up till level six uh, under the title of uh, How much is it? How much is it? Let's see together. Snap chart the meanings of the colors in the United States here. Green means jealous, yellow means happy, orange, fun, red, exciting, pink, loving, purple, mysterious, brown, friendly, black, sad, gray, boring, white, pure, blue, but fall. So this is the meanings of colors in the United States. Which words have a positive meanings? Which words have a negative meanings? Here, jealous is a negative, yellow is positive, fun, positive, exciting, of course, positive, loving, positive, mysterious is a negative, Friendly is a positive adjective, sad is a negative, boring, negative, pure is a positive, and restful is also a positive one. We have a conversation here. They're perfect for you. They're perfect for you. Lesson and practice. Here, we have a man and a woman. They are talking about earrings and the necklace. So let's listen to the conversation between Steve and Maria. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones, I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these. Hmm, yellow isn't pretty, a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? The blue one right there. How much is it? It's uh, $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Let's read again together the conversation oh look at those earrings those those earrings maria the perfect for you these red ones i'm not sure no the yellow ones oh yes i mean yellow isn't really a good color for me well that necklace isn't bad which one that blue one right there, how much is it? It's $42, that's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present, happy birthday. You should know from this conversation the use of one and ones. Also, you should know the use of the demonstratives of those, these, and that. Okay? So you should uh, focus on the use of uh, ones, one, these, this, that, those, the demonstrators. First of all, I want to say or to tell you that uh, here, one and one used instead of repetition because of more repetition uh, cause cause feeling boring when you repeat the same word so many times you feel boring so here we use uh, one and ones for replacement instead of more repetition okay the second thing that uh, you should know how to use or when to use this uh, that uh, those and these this uh, when you want to demonstrate or to uh, something that is very near to you and singular. It is found 
this necklace, but it is far from you and also singular you should use that. If it is near, use this. If it is far, use that. This is for singular things. But for plural, if it is near, you should say these, these earrings. If uh, they are far, you should use as in the sentence, those earrings. So here, those for plural and far. These for plural also, but near to you, but near to you. This is the main thing you should pay attention to. Here, demonstrative one and ones, how much is this necklace? As we saw in the picture, the necklace is very far to him, so he used this necklace. We can delete necklace and put one instead, okay? We can say how much is this one. If the necklace is four, like in the second picture, we can say that necklace or that one. Which one? The blue one. It's $22. Also here, how much are these earrings? If the earrings is very near to you, you should use these. If they are far, you should use those. You can also delete rings and put ones instead. The yellow ones, the two ones, they're eighteen dollars. Let's answer together the following exercise. Complete this conversation. Then perhaps to the partner. Excuse me, how much are those jeans? Because here, the customer, the jeans are far from here. She said those jeans. Which, which ones? Do you mean the dark blue ones? No, the light blue ones. Oh, they're... 59 point the 59 dollars and 95 cent almost 60 dollars are you kidding she said are you kidding because it's too expensive for her okay in the second page here we have a customer and a sales person I like bag bag over there. So he said over there. So we should say I like that bag bag over there. How much is it? Which one? The red one. It's twenty seven dollars and forty nine cent. But but this green one is only twenty two dollars and twenty five cent. Okay, let me see it, please. Let me see it, please. So here, also, how much are these sunglasses? Which one? The big ones? The pink ones? They're eighty-six dollars and ninety-nine cents. That's expensive. So you should also know how to ask about the price. Okay, how much are these sunglasses? That's here, useful expression. To express it's cheap, it's expensive, it's reasonable, it's okay, it's not bad. You should keep them by heart like that's cheap, that's reasonable, that's okay, not bad, that's expensive. Now, the second part of our session, we will talk about the materials of uh, the, the items we want to buy. Okay, cotton, 
rubber, gold, silk, leather, silver, plastic, and wool. Again, cotton, rubber, gold, silk, leather, silver, plastic, and wool. A plastic bracelet, a silver ring, a silk toy, a wool socks, a leather jacket, a cotton shirt, silver earrings, and rubber boots. Rubber boots. Here is a gold ring. A gold ring. Conversation which one do you prefer? So from the title of the conversation we should put into consideration comparison. We have here a comparison between two things. So beforehand with the conversation from the title of it we should guess that it's about some uh, comparison. Which one do you prefer? When you say which one do you prefer, so you expect a comparison between two things. Let's first read the following conversation and we will discuss uh, this point later after reading the conversation between and and Sue and the clerk. Okay? And look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. So which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. Better, okay? The wool one, why? It looks, it looks, it looks warmer. Here it's almost warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one, mm, there is no price tag, excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499, would you like to try it on? Oh no, that's okay, but thanks anyway, you're welcome, you're welcome, okay? We should know here the comparison. Before we talk about comparison, comparison in our lesson today, it's between two things. We shall put it in con into consideration that uh, the main point we are talking that the comparison is between two things. Also, before handling comparison, we shall know that we have two types of adjectives. We have short adjectives and we have long adjectives. When we have short adjectives like the word warm, for example, like the word chore, it's a short adjective. We said it in just one syllable, so it's a short, one breath, so it's, it's a short. In this case, you should, you should say the first thing you make comparison. For example, we want to say that the leather jacket being followed by verb to be is, uh, is what? Is, uh, uh, sorry, the wool jacket is what? Is warmer. Warmer than. So here we add ER being followed by than when we have a short adjective. When we have a short adjective. Okay, like uh, it looks warmer, warmer than the leather one. So here, to make a comparison, we want to say that Soha is cooler than Dua. Soha is verb to be cooler. We add ER, okay, then than, then the second item or the second person which is Dua. Okay, we want it to say uh, the silver mobile is uh, cheaper than the black one. Silver is uh, the silver one or the silver mobile is uh, cheaper. We add the or than the black one. A 
solid and boring items. It's an electronic website for it's a marketing electronic popular website for marketing. Here we will read together the following reading. Do you like shopping online? Do you like finding a bargain or a good buy? Then eBay is for you. eBay is uh, the world's online marketplace. It's a place to buy and sell all anything. With over 18 million members, eBay is uh, more popular than any other shopping site on the internet. If you contemplate here that uh, eBay is for you, eBay is the world's online marketplace. It's a place to buy and sell almost anything with uh, over than 18 million members. eBay is more popular than. Here in this reading we have, uh, or it's an application of our grammar lesson about comparison. Here eBay is more popular because popular is a law as a long adjective. Here it's preceded by more and followed by than is more popular than any other shopping site on the internet. People trade millions of different things on eBay's website, from cars to electronics to musical instruments. Here is how it works. A member puts an advertisement for an item on the website. Other members bid or offer. money for the item the person who bids the most money gets to buy the item then the seller sends the item to the buyer number three selling on ebay is easy says mike sticks he is the owner of a company that sells used computers and he adds i make friends on eBay, I think it's a very friendly place, but uh, some people don't like it. I think the traditional way to shop is better. Here, conversation between two things, that the traditional way is better than the electronic one. So here, adjective of good will turn to better. Between two things will be better. I think the traditional way to shop is better. Says Jenny Fink, a student, I want you to touch things, not to see a picture of them. So his viewpoint is that he likes to touch the item himself, not to see a picture of it. But whether you like it or not, eBay is here to stay. They are now eBay users in the United States, Europe, Latin America, China, and many other countries. Soon people may be able to shop on eBay anywhere in the world. Uh, we will stop here, but we want to summarize what we take together today. It's uh, about colors, it's about how to ask about the price of something. Okay, also demonstratives, how we use this, that, uh, those, and these and how we use one and ones and in the ad ad we said that one and ones are alternatives of uh, repeating the same items in order not to feel boring. Okay, we have uh, useful expressions. We also know in this conversation how to make a comparison between two things using short adjectives or long adjectives and we know the difference between them. Okay, my dear students, we will stop here. You heard that and bye.